If you were lucky enough to be alive in the 1970s, you saw the rise and fall of lots of very cool things, from Donna Summer and Disco to Star Wars and rotary engines. You also may have been lucky enough to see the Mercedes-Benz C111, which was built as a styling exercise for aerodynamics and different powertrain technologies. Well, all that's old is new again at the Mercedes-Benz International Design Center in Carlsbad, California, because this is the Vision 111 concept. For more on the Vision 111 concept, there's a link in the description to our full write-up. And as always, please subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel so that we can keep on bringing you content like this. You can also find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. Apart from its fantastic metallic orange and black color scheme, the Vision 111 takes a lot of inspiration from its 1970s counterpart. Up front, you can see that there's this big, bold oval opening, which is unique to this vehicle compared to other modern Mercedes, complete with a big three-pointed star right there on the hood. This front-end graphic is also pixelated, and it can display things like headlights, but also messages and information to the driver as he's walking up to the vehicle. As you can also see, there are a couple of gloss black nacelles on the hood, which are ripped directly from the C111 of the 1970s, but on this vehicle, they dovetail beautifully into a fantastic glass canopy. One of the other cool things about this car is that while the black rocker panels of the C111 are more of a design treatment, here the black elements are actually aerodynamic in purpose. You can see that they kind of channel air through the side of the vehicle and out the back, which give it a very cool stance in addition to being theoretically functional. The other obvious homage to the C111 are these gull wing doors, but because the Vision 111 has that bold one bow shape, they actually have some pretty slick vertical door openings. I don't think I've ever seen that in a car by Mercedes before, so it's kind of neat to see it here. Now once you open these gull wing doors, you have access to this ultra futuristic interior. Now if you want to be twee, you could maybe say that the diamond quilting on the seats is a callback to the houndstooth from the C111, but I really don't think that there's much very retro about this chrome orange creamsicle interior. Instead, this is just ultra modern Mercedes at its best. There's even going to be an augmented reality component if a car like this ever reaches production, which means that your screen and your windshield will become interactive and show you actual information that's relevant to you driving the vehicle. Like the original C111, the Vision 111 is intended to be a technological preview of what's to come for Mercedes in the future. That means this car has unique axial flux electric motors instead of the more traditional radial flux. Axial flux motors are about one third the size of a traditional electric motor, which means that they are more power dense and lighter weight. It also makes them a little bit more flexible when you're designing a vehicle, which is why this car is so sleek and so low. And it has these big, bold wheel arches front and rear. The motors are mounted further out toward the wheels, enabling a more aerodynamic design without sacrificing power. In fact, axial flux electric motors can produce peak power at all times because they are cooled so efficiently. The Vision 111 also makes use of novel cylindrical battery cells, which is a technology that may come to Mercedes-Benz EVs in the future. These battery cells, which are already used by manufacturers like Lucid, Tesla, and Rivian, could make future Mercedes-Benz EVs even more efficient and longer range. Now for now, the Mercedes-Benz Vision 111 is a design exercise. The company hasn't announced pricing or powertrain specifications, or even if they're going to put something like this in production in the future. But even so, the Vision 111 is a fantastic use of the company's creative resources, designing something that's so forward-looking while also paying homage to the Gullwing and C111 past. I desperately hope Mercedes puts something like this into production in the near future, but even if they don't, at least we get to look at and interact with something very, very cool.